Here are 5 contact missions that are going to help you make a lot of money in GTA 5 Online this week. All 5 of these contact missions are going to be double money in RP for this entire week and that's the reason why I'm making this video. So starting with number 1 is going to be Bad Company. So in order to start this mission you want to open up your options menu, go to online, from here go to jobs and then play jobs rockstar created and then scroll down to the missions. From here scroll down until you see the last play missions. So here is Bad Company and as we can see it is double money in RP at the moment. So one thing that is really important when doing these missions and any contact missions in general is going to be the difficulty that you choose when starting the mission. So as of right now it is on normal difficulty and we want to change this to hard. Now trust me it doesn't make a big difference on the difficulty of the mission but it definitely helps you get much more money on RP. So I'm going to start this mission up and just so you know you don't need anyone else to do this mission with. These can be done completely solo and right here I had a teammate but he died in the beginning and he decided to leave. Also if you do these solo and it takes you longer to complete the mission that's better for you because the longer you take completing these missions the more money in RP you get. But anyways for this mission I suggest using an armored vehicle so here I was using the Kuruma armored and there's going to be 4 groups of NPCs around the map. In each one there's going to be one person that you have to take out so just go ahead and take out all 4 targets. So here is the last guy and as you can see right as I kill the last person a new target is going to spawn on your map which is going to be the boss. Now there's going to be a decent amount of NPCs protecting him but I did this solo and had no problems. So once you're here take out all of his people and then you want to take himself out. Now once you take him out you need to pull out your phone and take a picture of him and then leave the area and you'll be done the mission. So just like that we got 36k and this mission didn't even take that long to do. So the second mission is going to be fast pedaling. You can start this mission the same way you started the other one because they're all like close to each other. Also don't forget to set your difficulty on hard once again but go ahead and start this mission up. I'm also going to be doing this one solo but when you spawn in you're going to have to go to 4 different MC businesses and steal products from each business. So as you guys see here when you get to a business there will be NPCs waiting outside and they're going to start shooting at you. So it's a good idea to use the armored car once again but take them out and once you're inside take the product and move on to the next business. So I just finished taking products from each business, now I just have to deliver it to a checkpoint and boom just like that we passed the mission and I got 32k which isn't bad at all. So let's move on to the third mission which is going to be the ends meet. For this one you have to go to a meet place and you have to take out a bunch of NPCs and once you have done that you will get to the safe. Now you need to hack the safe so it's probably a good idea to do this mission with someone else helping you. But once you finish the hack you will see the location for the gang boss and you have to take him out. By the way the gang boss will be in the same building as before. But once you're done that you can go back to Gerald's apartment and you're done the mission. So this one was much quicker since I had teammates but overall it's a quick mission. But this one ended up paying. Now just before I show you guys how much I made from this mission I'd really appreciate it if you dropped a like on this video. But really let's just get right back into it. But this one ended up paying me 21k. Alright so for the fourth mission is going to be end product and I suggest you have people helping you with this one. But anyways when you spawn in this mission there's going to be a truck parked by the side and one person on your team has to drive it to the checkpoint. As soon as you deliver the truck to the checkpoint enemies are going to start spawning in. So go ahead and take them out. Now here is the difficult part. The enemies are just going to try shooting at the truck and if you just let them shoot it then the truck can blow up and you fail the mission. So make sure you're taking all the enemies out and you have to get into the truck and deliver it to a checkpoint. While you're driving it to a checkpoint more NPCs are going to try to shoot the truck so just take them out and just like that for this mission I got 30k which is really really good and moving on to the last mission is going to be deal with it for this one you drive to a deal and once you get there there's going to be crates around but there's also going to be enemies around them so take out the enemies and also check the crates and see if there's anything inside of them once you've checked all the crates then you'll get a checkpoint to the buyer's location from here you're going to have to look for the buyer's vans and once you find them you need to set them on fire or blow them up once you do that you will have the cops on you so just lose the cops and you'll be done this mission. And just before I show you guys how much money I made from this mission. If you have made it this far into the video then I suggest you subscribe for more GTA 5 content just like this one. But anyways this one paid me 32k and just before you guys leave this video. I suggest you guys check out this video right here where I go over another 5 contact missions that pay you a lot of money. But really guys see you in the next one.